I think the US rising by a place is, uh, is a surprise. One of the biggest drops this year is South Africa. South Africa's financial markets are assessed as less stable, and that's actually not such good news because they were among the most stables in Africa. The UK it essentially remains stable. It drops by one place because it's being overtaken by another country. We don't see the effects of Brexit yet, but we expect them to be affecting the UK's competitiveness in the future. We also are concerned about the macroeconomic situation in the UK, which has been tense. The US is number two because it's first of all a very innovative economy. It's the world's innovation powerhouse. It has very flexible labor markets, which it's easy to, um, to, to, to expand the labor force. It has a fairly good education system, especially at the top level. It has um, relatively good infrastructure still, although it's been deteriorating, and very good levels of efficiency in the, in the markets in general. Switzerland came in first because it has very stable political institutions that make it think very long term. But it also has very strong labor markets that balance flexibility with social security. It has a good education system and it's very innovative. And it also has a very strong macroeconomic uh, performance. Switzerland has been, has been number one for nine years now. There are some concerns about Switzerland maintaining this position going forward, especially in terms of the, the initiatives about migration. At the same time, the U.S. is catching up quickly, is recovering, so it will also depend on how the U.S. will evolve going forward.